We begin with breaking news tonight. A crash in Bay Minette involving a motorcycle and another vehicle. Brianna Hollis is on the scene on Highway 59 with more on this developing story. Brianna? So to give you guys a better idea of exactly where we are, we're at that portion of the road where 59 and 31 merge south of Bay Minette, just south of Coastal Alabama Community College. And I'm going to go ahead and step right out of the way right now so I can zoom into what we've got going on behind me over there, which is the tow truck loading up the motorcycle that was involved in this. It was a motorcycle and a red pickup truck involved in this crash. And about 10 minutes ago, we saw crews over here taking that motorcycle, picking it up from the right shoulder of the road. Again, loading it onto that pickup truck right there. That's what's happening right now. They already have the pickup truck, which is over here to the left, loaded up on the tow truck. We are still waiting to hear what's going on when it comes to injuries in this case. No one here was authorized to give us that information, but we are in contact with the people who can give us that information. They said they'll be emailing that out as soon as they can. So we have been constantly refreshing that so we can let you guys know what's going on with that. And we'll be on Facebook Live still after I sign off over here on the show. We'll be on Facebook Live and update you with that information that we are going to get from officials, which hopefully should be any minute now. Reporting live in Baldwin County, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Brianna. And we are following more breaking news tonight of another serious crash in Baldwin County. This one happening on County Road 54 in Bell Forest. Bell Forest Volunteer Fire Department and the Silver Hill Volunteer Fire Department are assisting with this serious crash. It involves two vehicles. At least one person was airlifted. Now, this is a live view of the scene where those emergency vehicles are still there. We are also following this live on our WKRG Facebook page.